Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I thought rather than sit here and moan about humidity again which it is I'm just going to do another design team haul so this one is a KLJ UYP and if tomorrow is still as bad I'm going to do another haul because I'm pretty sure that um I've got a lot of personal stuff coming in from AliExpress today so Let's get stuck into this and it is a star shaped memory decks with the word shine. I think that's seriously cool. It's got a nice thick border on it so that it can be a shaker. So that's really nice. I'm going to measure this and of course next week, <laughs> she says hopefully, I'm going to be up with um, all projects from this and finishing off surprise creation so right i'll stop talking and we are at five and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches what an awesome size that's really really lovely a great one to do for christmas love that and then who doesn't love tickets i mean so easy to make these are shakers as well and you've got the bases or you can just do them as regular tickets i really like to make small things that's one and three quarter inches just absolutely gorgeous and looking at these i would say that these are nicole designs and here i think this is a halloween one and people always say to me get a mirror so you know what you're doing uh well, that wouldn't be any fun, would it? <laughs> I think it's something wicked. This way comes or something. Tis the season to be... Ah, tis the season to be spooky. That's what it says. And uh, I don't know what that says, but, you know, we're going to find out next week, aren't we? But it's, uh, it's a great halloween -y sentiment. And then we have... Oh, I'm trying to think what that is. That's a bat. Yeah, it's a double bat shaker. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. And it folds over, so it could be a tent card. Oh, I'm going to have to figure that one out. So that is a batty bat. And at the moment, I'm pretty sure I sound like I've got bats in my belfry. That's five inches across. So that's a great size. And then these are absolutely gorgeous. If you watched my Happy Mail video the other week, uh, Jen Jen Creations, she sent me some balloon dog stickers. Well, look at these. Balloon doggy dies. Aren't they gorgeous? I absolutely love those. So I'm going to be making those. And the biggest one, because they are shakers, is, I'm going to say from the nose to the tip there, a fraction over four inches. And then this one, the little baby one. Ooh, let's have a look. Three and a quarter inches, just a fraction over. <gasps> those are wonderful. And then look at this. We have huge drippy drips. Drips are good. You know, chips of icing, frosting for a cake, you know, all down your card. Or drips of blood or drips of frosty snow. So it doesn't just have to be a Halloween-y blood thing, which I'm sure this is what this one's aimed at. But you can use it for so many things. You can have little patches of drippy snow going off the roof of your house. If you've got any house dyes and things like that. And if you use them that way up. And cut them up you can do them in all different colors and it looks great with stamping and mixed media and they are large they are i believe slimline size nine and a quarter inches so those are awesome and then we get to i think this is a halloween potion bottle i'm not going to say it's an olive oil bottle no it's not it's a halloween potion bottle and it's a shaker isn't that cute? Well, the height of that is three and a half inches. And then we get to rosettes. I do love rosettes. I'll slide that one out of the bag. Isn't that pretty? 
Look at the design on that. Now the depth of that, because it's important to know, because you're going to be able to double up on the size. Now this has got no cut edge on it, so you can actually make it as big as you want. But the actual size, if you cut it to that, is just over two and a quarter inches. And the length of that is seven and three quarter inches. And then we've got a snowflakey one, which is gorgeous. Look at that one. Once again, it's got no cut edge, so it can be as big as you want it to be. That is seven and a half inches. And if you put that just to the edge of your paper, you're looking at three inches, which means once you've built it, that, you know, sort of going down to the edge of your paper would be a six inch snowflake rosette. So that's absolutely gorgeous. And then we're going into more Halloween-y things. And I'm going to have to open this one. I think this is a ghost. And it's a ghost that looks like he might be a dress-up ghost. Yeah, there you are. You've got your cute little ghost. You've got trick or treat. You've got flowers and a little bow. And you can even pop a hat on your ghost, which is absolutely awesome. Love that. Isn't that cute? Yes. Right, let's measure the ghosty. Because the ghost is the most important thing. There you go. Third time. Lucky. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> it's almost three and a quarter inches. And this is a backer piece to place it onto. So you can go that way around, I think. No, it's not. It's a separate piece. This one actually cuts a ghost that you can put a face into and just pop that into that section. So that is actually two pieces. Right. So just to confuse you further. And then we've got a cute little bag topper with a bow. And the width of this one is three inches. So that's really cute, like for doing a pair of woolly socks or something. And popping them on the cuff of the sock. And then we get into me. Oh yes, pies. I love pies. <laughs> I just love making pies. I don't know why. It's the same thing with cookies and cupcakes. I just love it. I just think they're so cute. And that is a three inch pie. So that's almost big enough to eat, isn't it? I'm going to go here for the measurement. One and three quarter inches deep. And you've got like frosting and cherries. And you've got um, a little wavy bit that will make puff pastry. You know, like it's all flaky at the bottom. And it's a shaker. Absolutely love that one. Great for Thanksgiving. And then we have a separate connected set of stars. And there are three of them. So those two fold over and then that one's individual. So I'm thinking this and the other one is like a tent fold shaker. Or you can lift it up and put it on the front of a card. Or it's just for a little tag where you can put your sentiment inside and close it. So that's really, really cute. And the size of the star on that, I will flip it over, is, I'm going to say, as we move around it, two and three quarter inches for the size of the star. That's really sweet. And then we've got more halloween -y, which is a mini slimline size. And you've got Happy Halloween, you've got spiders, and you've got bats. So that is six inches by three. Really cute. And then we go Halloween-y again. Or if you wanted to, you can posh it up and has it have it, you know, just like a bottle of perfume or something. But it comes with a skull and it comes with a label. And it also comes with a little sort of like bobbly cork stopper. And if you've got a little sailboat, you could have that lying down on its side. You've got your waves and your little sailboat and a bit of sand in there. So it's a multi-use, even though this one is meant for Halloween. So let's measure that one. And it's a fraction over four inches. And then the width of that, cut line to cut line, two and a quarter inches. And then we get to a huge potion bottle. I mean, you could absolutely put everything into that one. 
That would look good actually made as a, a decoration to hang on the tree. Because you can put all sorts of like little plants and mushrooms and little gnomes and stuff and make a really great sort of like diorama ornament in a bottle to uh, to put on your Christmas tree. But of course this one is for Halloween with these elements. But once again it's multi-use. So measuring the size of that. And it is six inches so it's huge. That's a great size one. And then we are into more little batty bats. That's definitely a bat wing. And I'm trying to look at the shapes here. I'm going to open it. And, oh, I'm trying to figure that out. I think it might be a bat person. Got little trousers. I think it's a child or something dressed up for Halloween. Either that or it's a vampire looking at that hairstyle that would sit on top of there. Yeah, I think that's a vampire. So I need to make that one. And of course, you know me, I like to make character dies. So we're going to do that one. It's going to be a real busy week next week. And then we have a teeny weeny cute little gingerbread. So we're off into Christmas here. Unless you want to make a vampire gingerbread, there's nothing to stop you from doing that. And that is three and a half inches by two and three quarter inches. So that's a really cute size. And you've got all the buttons and bows and uh, the frosting pieces for that. Right. So anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to talk about humidity again. So that was the KLJ UYP haul. Lots of great stuff there. And I'm going to be up tomorrow. I'm pretty sure tomorrow I'm just going to be doing a personal haul because my paper is just, you know, I pick it up and it's like a wet dishcloth. So it's not really nice. So anyway, I thank you so much for watching. Have an absolutely fabulous day. And as usual, all links below. Bye.